on the canvas icon up here so once you click on the canvas icon okay we skip this you can see instagram post uh, if you're looking for a flyer or a image you can use for your instagram post we have logos here then we have flyers right here then underneath here we have animated social media you can also use these but they're animated if you notice they are moving they're not static then fashion logos then we have posters our social media and on stories your stories um phone wallpapers sales um, in instagram post so depending what you want to use it for you also have whatsapp stories or youtube thumbnails quotes social graphics we have facebook so there are a lot of things you can use the canvas for but today we're gonna go to so we can if you come up here we can see create a design and videos instagram animation flyers logos almost the same thing we saw when we scroll down but this time um, announcement yeah so any of these design depending on what you want to do you can just click on them letter heading any of the design so we if you want to use certificate you want to design a certificate can also do that on canvas so or zoom virtual but this time i'm going for youtube thumbnails so you can click on that the first one you can see here it says blank that's if you want to create it from the scratch by yourself import in your images your logos any of those things you can do that if you're starting from the scratch or you can use a template which has already been created and you can just re-edit it to suit what you want so I'm gonna go for my home classroom setup so this is a template and I can edit it to what I want it's opening up okay it's done so i can change the text by clicking on it you see that so if you look down here we can see this magnifying glass has to zoom in we can see this uh plus here that's to create an extra copy of this template uh we can see the delete and edit we can see Monserrat Sen. That's for the font template you want to use. Then we have this. That's for the font size. That's uh, 76 PT. That's for the font size. If you notice here, yeah, the classroom setup has increased. Uh, okay getting bigger let me reduce it so that's to reduce it then if you want to change the color this a will do that so we can have it any color we want or we can move this to the color that we want see then click this arrow to go back
so this is to make the text bold it's already bold so let me make it bold and this for italics this is to underline the u is to underline uh, the i is to make a little italics paint little then this is how you want to arrange it you can see different arrangement you can almost you see something like this if you're using word microsoft word or powerpoint that's it to arrange your text then this some capital letter small letter see these are your bullet points nice numbers then this arrow that's erase letter spacing line height so see the space you want between the text then the, uh, the height from if you look at this M and L A we can create a space between them by using this line height see that's for line height this anchor text box or you underneath you can see this arrow facing down or up then let's go to effect <coughs> so depends on the effect you want to add to the text a little shadow or like this or like this then let's go again okay this is position so you can either you can click on position they can either have maybe move um it's like i can move. if this text if you look at it yeah if this text is placed on top of my own i can move it to the back so i can move the classroom to the back of my own so let me by clicking backward so if you notice that's moved to the back and i click back again now it's now at the back of the background image so then bring it back forward forward again so this helps in moving your text or image anywhere you want you can move it to the top middle bottom left center and right then we have the nudge see this okay i am gonna click the one with the arrow facing down notice it's moving but kind of a slow way to move the text much then we'll come to yeah it's pretty much like a brush okay yeah Okay, next I'm gonna move to this uh, box that has little little dots. That is your transparency. I click on it. Sorry, transparency. So you can see, I can make the text more transparent or lightly or totally vanish. So this is to do your transparency. This is because you want to add a link. This is to add a link. Enter your link so you can add it to maybe to the text so the text become uh, active. So once you click on it, 
uh, it takes them to the site where you want them to go to okay so we have the lock so you notice once it's locked you can't move it i click on the lock and you even see there's a padlock right here so i can't even move this text again and unless if i unlock it click it see now i can move it so that basically locks uh the text to that particular position and i don't think you'll be able to edit it again once it's locked so those are the basic functions and the things you can do on canvas so you can click this um plus button now the plus button allows you to photo music uh since it's an image you can use on youtube a thumbnail you can use on youtube you can have a short song along with it then you can add um, elements see how they look like so if you look up here we have shapes frames line arrows I like this recent uh, this one with a hand look really nice so you can see frames in the frames you can put pictures in them and that picture will just like take the shape of the frames then we have design for a course like uh, if notice you can see donate 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 so I guess that's what I thought so we have grids we have gradients oh yeah coronavirus so these are like uh, the doctors working the hospitals uh, maybe different depending on what you want to use it for Okay, right here we can see um, board voltage. Look like plants, basically it's plants. So that's another thing. Elements you can add to your images. Let me close it. Pressing this. So if you want, you can also upload an image by clicking upload. You can upload your own image if you want to. Or pictures background you know anything you want to put into your thumbnails can be done by uploading it so let's click on upload so these are some of the images I have uploaded before so if you want to upload an image video or audio so right now it's on image if so i click audio now nah, i've not uploaded the audio before or an audio or video i've not uploaded the video before you just click on upload media then it checks through your devices your phone uh, memory to see so I can click any of these and upload it. Just click on it. So Canva automatically saves your designs. Okay, right now we're going to click this plus button so giving us an extra option menu 
uh, we can go back to check for mod templates right here uh, we can upload videos we can insert pictures uh, we can elements text audio another video uh, gallery background folder then more let's click on more we have style charts uh, apps and integration let's take a look yeah so let's go back click the plus so right here we can upload a picture or a video or an audio that's the three we can upload and once we upload it it will show on our uh, this side like all these pictures are seeing here and then we can now take it from here and put it into our template or depending it could appear on our template so we just click on upload okay so I'm going to click on this picture and you can see it right here it has uploaded it should be okay it's still uploading notice this okay that's gone so from here we can now put it look at that into our picture plate that we have already click on it once it gets alighted you can notice that there is um, a blue line around it so you can move it yep move it anywhere we want or we could use it to replace this picture of the lady sitting down on the chair so let's try that let's do that increase bring it down yes. okay see right there so if you want to edit this uh, text thumbnail which we did okay okay so it becomes small so that uh, the keyboard can comes or come up so we can just edit 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 then we're gonna type hello hello world okay so since I'm done typing, I'm going to come back to the image and click on it two times so that it becomes big again. Okay, so we have hello world, but if you notice it, it there's not enough space for the world, so it comes down. So I'm going to increase it. I'm going to increase it so that I have no space, or I could just reduce the size. That's another option. So basically, everything you're seeing here can be deleted, moved around. You notice this light blue. Let me see. Okay, it's not lighted. I clicked on it. You notice that I can move it around anywhere I want. So most of the templates you're going to see on canvas can be moved around. Uh, text images if i want i can replace this it should be with a video just by clicking the plus and click on video so the different videos i can choose from right here typing oh, this nice place so i some of these videos are free when some are not free most times the free one you might see free on it or 
if it's paid you might see a crown on it but i think they changed it recently some time ago but once you click on any image and if it's free you won't have any issues with it but once it's not free then it will ask you to enter your card so depending on what you want do on background pictures you can see these are background pictures uh, this is a real shot uh, this is beach if you want a background for beach and click on all so you can see you can see more pictures of the beach sun shine you know somebody standing there see okay let's go back so basically we can do anything we want with our template customize it to what we want so i'm going to show you how to zoom in by this plus over here right here it's my defined glass not the black plus with the white not the um, black uh, plus surrounded by the sorry okay not the plus at the right but the other one in the magnifying glass so we can click on it see once you click on it it enlarge our template and we can view it more just be careful when you're moving it around so that you don't scatter what you did but mostly i will advise you just lock it let me show you what i mean by lock it yeah this is this padlock right here at the right end if you click on it down no. yeah just click on the padlock see if you notice on this image there's not a padlock right here so it can i can't just move it it's just stuck there so that i can i will not by mistakenly maybe when i'm trying to scroll through the image like i was doing and it shifted it just stays where it was before so but i can unlock it by clicking on the padlock again see so to unlock it you just need to alight it you notice this yellow word is alighted i mean the, the border is showing the blue line yeah that's what i mean so you just come to padlock click on the padlock and it's locked so it won't be moved i can't move it right now so i'm trying to but it's not moving so that's another thing you can do if you're going to use your phone to edit the templates that you like otherwise if you're using your phone lock it so that you don't by mistakenly move it from where you placed it so i'm going to unlock it by clicking on the padlock again boom open so right now i'm going to show you how you can download first let's zoom out by clicking on the magnifying glass on the left to download this image we we'll come to this arrow going up click on it so you can see we can save it as an image we can just save it as then you can share it to Facebook, TikTok, to an email, send it to an email, uh, you could post it, put it on Google Drive or Google Photos, Telegram, just many places you can share it to WhatsApp. There's so many options. Okay so let's come now now if you want this to be a video instead of an image you come down all the way to download as video download video so once you click download video click it so it says mp4 high quality video so you come on click on download 
it is how it works i kind of like it it looks so nice when it's downloading it looks like uh water flowing seriously it just looks so nice so you can see the progress as it's downloading okay on top here it says um successfully successfully saved like it says yeah you saved your design so it gives me an option to continue editing or go to your own page but what i want to do right now is i want to view it but before i view it let me also save it as an image so just come to save as image click on it and it does the same thing all over again then if you look up it says successfully saved then put out an option maybe if i want to share it to facebook different apps but i'm not gonna go from there so i'm gonna go back to my phone check my file manager because right now i will um, check it play the video and take a look at the picture click on it i'll go to phone storage okay i can see a folder called canvas click on it yep i can see it up here so this is the image so let me click on it um let me open it with okay let's use this so this is how it looks it's clear sharp so i'm gonna play the video now okay this is right there down click on it so i didn't add any music to it if i did add music there's an option for me to add music to it but i didn't click on it so it's gonna be silent so it's playing right now okay play again okay i'm going back now let's go back to canvas canvas is a very useful app that you can do use for any for me flyers or any design you have in mind you're trying to create okay i hope you guys love this video please comment subscribe for more videos showing you how to use different apps and these features that they have bye <laughs>
Ooh.